Hi everybody, welcome back. It is time to update you once again on my Mini Madness Project Pan that I am doing with the wonderful ladies at the Pantastic Ladies of Facebook group. Like always, down below in the description box, I will leave a link for the Pantastic Ladies Facebook page as well as a link for all of the participants that are in this collab. This is a rolling project pan. We are on update number nine. Hard to believe we are rounding out. We're getting closer to the end. You pick 10 mini sample deluxe size items. And as you use one up, you roll a new one in. And the goal is to try to just get all this little bitty tiny stuff used up. So without further ado, let's get into this. So we're gonna start off with, of course, what is still going strong, then we'll move into what I have finished and then what I've added. So still going strong, but almost completely done. I have maybe two uses of this left. Once you really get that good air bubble out, you really see what's left in here. This is my Ride or Die of Primers. Of course, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Original Primer. Two more that just will not die, but they're getting so close to being there. They're definitely getting a little bit more difficult to manipulate and hold and sharpen even because they're getting harder to hold. First step is the Lancome Drama Liquid Pencil. This one is in the shade Noir Intense. And then our trusty Sephora Gels Waterproof Contour 12 Hour Eye Pencil in the shade Love Affair. I think I've been kind of coveting this. We are still at the tiniest of nub. This maybe has maybe three, maybe four. I don't really know how you judge uses on a lipstick, but I really didn't get this one out and use it much this month because I love this shade so much and I've been playing with a lot of new shades. So it didn't get any use at all. It is still going strong. It is the Tarte Color Splash Hydrating Lipstick in the shade Set Sail. And still going, we have the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Mask. This is the one that contains seaweed. I didn't get a use out of it this past month. I just had other stuff I was using. So like I said before, I think this probably contains about four uses. I still have three uses left to go. So we'll be finishing it up before too long. The Tarte Deep Dive Cleanser. I love this. This is the Rainforest of the Sea line. We are actually kind of like at this line here. There was a little bit more of my regular nighttime cleanser that was left. So I went ahead and finished that up and then got into this. You don't need very much of this, but it doesn't contain a whole lot. So I will be using this up. This will probably be empty for the next update. And still going strong. This is the Peter Thomas Roth. This is the skin to die for. This is a no filter mattifying primer complexion perfecter. And it's really kind of hard to judge where we're at on this. Uh, I would say I'm down to about right here, which is about maybe the two thirds of it left, but there also was probably a good amount of air in this. And I have used this, I think two or three times. So definitely getting some use. So now we go on to what did I get finished? I'll start off with the Olay cleansing, uh, Wash, let's, let's read the whole label here, right? This is the Olay Micro Scrubbing Cleansing Infusion Hydrating Glow Body Wash with Crushed Ginger. This was an okay body wash. Uh, the ginger smell wasn't that potent, so I could handle that because sometimes ginger can be a little bit overpowering for me, but it wasn't really bad in this. It was pretty moisturizing. It was as moisturizing as I was would expect from an Olay product. I've used Olay before in the past, so it is pretty moisturizing. The exfoliating part though was actually the crushed ginger. So it doesn't have like little beads or like little pieces of plastic or stuff like that. It actually just has crushed ginger in there for the exfoliating part. I don't find that it exfoliates like, it's not going to like slough your skin off. I don't even really think it's going to exfoliate much, but you do get a little bit more intense of a scrub with it but quite honestly no more intense than you would get from a normal like body poof sponge anyway next thing i finished up was the josie marin this is the surreal skin arjan finishing balm and i wiped that thing clean i really like this stuff guys i can't really tell you what it does as for finishing purposes. I never put it on top of my makeup because it does say that you can do that. You can use it almost kind of like a touch up. I never tried it in that capacity because honestly, my skin is very normal. Things don't really break down on me very quickly at all. This is a fantastic primer. 
Oh my gosh, I loved this primer so much. It kind of does have that whip texture, so it does kind of help try to fill in pores. Like it's no, you know, it's no Makeup Forever Step 1, which is kind of like my holy grail of pore filling primers. Um, it's not even as pore filling as maybe Smashbox Original, but it does try to help a little bit. It makes the skin so soft, things cling to it so nicely. I just really, really like this as a primer. It was a really, really good base and it was a nice little treat to have. And now we'll finish this off with a very, very, very sad day. The Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I received this in a Sephora play some time ago. I think like back in May, summertime, maybe even before that. And I had stated in my video that, you know, hey, eye cream is eye cream. I don't really think it does anything extra special, but we'll give it a try. Belief said challenge accepted and commented on my video and said, well, you'll have to tell us what you think about it after you use it. Well, Belief, well played. Well played, Belief, well played. So I don't know what kind of witchcraftery this contains, what kind of sorcery. I don't know who made a deal with who to make this product, but it is freaking amazing, guys. It is kind of pricey, but not terribly pricey. Like it's not out of my range of things I would purchase, but it is kind of up there in price. But what it does for the moisture factor under the eyes, I am telling you, it is just, I, I couldn't believe it. Like even, you know, 12 hours in, I don't feel a bit dry. Like when I use this, I still feel so totally moisturized. It, this is just an amazing product. Again, like I said, well played belief, well played. And since I used up three products, now I'm going to roll three new ones in. So let's go. I decided to add another hair product. This is the Pantene Foam Conditioner. This is the Sheer Volume for revitalizing hair. And it's like a mousse conditioner. I've never used a mousse conditioner before. So I thought, hey, why not? If I don't like the way it performs like in the shower, maybe it would be a good leave-in type conditioner since it's more of a moussey texture and lightweight. Next up, the Clinique Take Off the Day. This is the liquid makeup remover and it has the two kinds. So it's, you know, for waterproof. So you shake them up and mix it together. I don't usually have to use like a separate makeup remover for my eyes um, than what I normally use, but sometimes, you know, lash glue, things like that, or I'm wearing like really thick wing liner or something like that. And I want something a little bit more intense or to even clean my lashes, I like something a little intense. So why not give this one a try? And last but not least, and I know that this is gonna take us all the way into December because I'm going to open this on October 1st and I only keep mascaras for three months at a time and then I'm done with them. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I have not tried it yet, so I'm gonna open it now because we're close enough to the first that I'm okay with that. Uh, this one has the like little tiny velveteen fibers on it. Uh, the brush seems, mm, I don't know, Pretty kind of standard, but a little bit of an hourglass shape to the brush. So I'm really curious to try this out. Um, and I love trying a new mascara anyway. So we'll throw this in the rotation. We know by December we'll be finished. And so that's it. That is what I have for you today. That is update number nine on the Project Pan Mini Madness that I am doing with the wonderful, fantastic ladies of Facebook. Definitely make sure that you open up that description box down below. Check out the fantastic ladies if you're new to panning. I was completely new to panning, guys. I can't even believe I've made it this far. I'm so proud of myself that I can actually pan something. But if you're new to panning, if you're interested in panning, if you're curious about panning, definitely go over to that Facebook page. Check them out. There's some wonderful, wonderful ladies over there. We have a lot of fun. Also, make sure you open up that link down there so that you can go check out the other ladies' videos and see what's in their Mini Madness Project Pans. Also, if you didn't see a video last week, Apologize for that, but um, I had some technical difficulties first. Uh, recorded several videos and realized my mic wasn't plugged in. So the struggle is sometimes real, guys. <laughs> Once again, I have person to thank you as always for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly, truly do appreciate it. And of course, before you leave, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. You definitely don't want to miss out on any videos that I have coming up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,